In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how to actually log in to your Office 365 E3 plan right from scratch. So we can either use Chrome as your browser or Internet Explorer. Okay, so I'm going to use Chrome even though we'll be working in Microsoft products, but I tend to use Chrome because it's just that I'm used to this. Okay, uh, but you can use either one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and simply go to the home page of Google here and I'm going to search Microsoft Online. So I'm going to type Microsoft Online. And the first hit that I get is the sign into Office 365. And obviously, once you're here, you can add this to your favorite so that you don't have to worry about it every single time. So I'm going to click on sign into Office 365. It takes me to login.microsoftonline.com. And I'm going to find the correct login information here. So here we go. This is the account that I'm looking for. And this account, by the way, has been created specifically for this course. So I'm going to click on this link here by default it already has my username so I'm going to give it a password here and then simply click sign in or hit enter on the keyboard and this should take me to my office 365 dashboard great once I'm on my office 365 dashboard lots of things that I can do here here I can install certain software I can install word excel powerpoint outlook OneNote, and so forth I can use any of these apps collaborate with office online on the top right i can set up my settings here my profile and so forth okay so this is just the main page that you will get once you log in notice the apps are listed here so i have my outlook here if i need to see my email i can click on this calendar people onedrive here's my sharepoint server my tasks delve video word cell powerpoint one notes way and then my admin settings so this is the main dashboard on the top left here notice this tool on the top left if I click on it it displays the same settings okay same apps in fact so once I have all these apps either from uh, the settings tool here or right from my dashboard I can navigate to wherever I like to go okay so in this instance I'm going to go directly to my admin app here so I'm going to click on admin and this brings up my Office 365 Admin Center. And on my left here, notice I will see various options such as setup, users, my billing, service settings, external sharing, support, and then my admin category as well, which contains various options such as Exchange, Skype for Business, SharePoint Compliance, Azure AD, and Bing Places for Business. So in this lesson, I just wanted to demonstrate how to actually log into your Office 365 Enterprise. So with this, let's move to our next lesson.